Here, right here in the United States, about 4,000 children as well as young adults die just suddenly, unexpectedly, due to a cardiac arrhythmia. In our HealthCast today, we're taking a look at some of the causes, the warning signs that are so important, and life-saving treatment options out there. From childhood through early adulthood, Austin LeBlanc has been active and, by all appearances, healthy. He played football since he was five years old, um, and he would get palpitations while he was on the field and you know his trainer would listen to his heart and whatever and she would you know it was all oh it's you're just anxious you're fine I don't feel like you have anything you're fine. Shortly after graduating from college Austin lost consciousness while working out. He was rushed to the hospital where he was diagnosed with arrhythmogenic right ventricle cardiomyopathy. In a sense it was relieving because I had always known there was something wrong and it had kept getting worse over time. Austin's condition was one of many that fall under the category of sudden arrhythmia death syndromes, many of which are genetic. But often these people wander around without any knowledge that they have anything wrong because most feel completely normal. Warning signs of SADS may include exercise-related chest pain or shortness of breath, fainting or seizures during exertion, and a family history of unexpected and unexplained deaths before the age of 40. Drowning can actually, in a person who shouldn't drown, you know, like a 15-year-old, uh, can also be a sign of uh, an arrhythmic sudden death or uh, aborted sudden death. Austin's mom actually carries the gene for this condition, but is showing no signs herself. Following an ablation to reset his irregular heart rhythm, Austin now lives with an implantable defibrillator and takes medications every day. We always try to keep our head up and it was like, at least now we know what's going on and we could try to manage it. And because when you're fighting an enemy that you don't, you can't see, it's a lot harder. So the disease progresses differently in just all people, but Austin is being closely monitored for any changes that may need further intervention. To learn more about SADS and the various resources out there, look for this story in our health section at local10.com.